In this video, we're going to make a dialog out of a form, and we're going to show it using show dialog and retrieve data from this, this second form or this dialog. So let's create a new project and add a form. Call it form2. And we're going to make it more form or dialog like. So disable the maximize box, the minimize box, and change the form border style to fix single. Then we're going to add a group box and give the options or give the user an option to select from some data. And we're going to add a button. This is going to be the OK button and you can set dialog result to OK, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. If you set the dialog result of the button, it will cause the form to close when this button is clicked and return this value uh, in the show dialog method. Uh, you can you can do this. You can do this dot dialog results is equal to dialog result OK, and then close the form manually. But in our case, we don't need to do that. So let's go to the form one and we're just going to register to the mails click event. So when we click the form, we want to show our dialog. And before we actually do that, I'm going to go back to the dialog here and we're going to expose a get set accessor public string selected text. Get set. And just do some easy stuff here. Selected text is equal to radio button one text and so forth. So now the user can effectively set data that we can access back on the uh, main form. So let's do that. So we're going to show our form 2 here. Form 2, form 2 is equal to new form 2. If form 2. Okay, what we're doing here is we're declaring and instantiating a form 2 then down here we are showing the form 2 as a dialog in this if statement so once it gets to this code here it's going to show the form and it's going to block here until the user closes the form in some way and then after the user closes the form the show dialog method will return a dialog result and then it, the program can go on to testing the dialog result. If the dialog result is equal to OK, then assign the um, selected text to the text property of the form. So I'm click on the form, select radio button 2, press OK, and the form's text is radio button 2. Now if I were to do that, just hit exit and instead, it's not going to set my text because if you press the exit button on the form border show dialog will return dialog result cancel so basically with this technique you want to create a new form and expose data to that form as a public property and show that that second form in the first form using show dialog and then after that you want to test the the return value of show dialog if the return value is equal to OK, then set the appropriate properties or do whatever you want with the data that you exposed earlier.